it's everybody's favorite day of the week. The day of the week when we ask ourselves, does this thing really work? This is actually a product that no one has asked me anything about. No one has asked me to test this out except for my mom. My mom asks me about this product every other day. If you watched my what I got for Christmas video that I filmed however many months, Christmas was ago. What month is it now? I'm very disoriented. But anyway, uh, my mom got this for me for Christmas and she's been asking me about it ever since and I have been saving it. I wanted to test it live in a video with you guys. She just asked me about it again yesterday, so I was like, why put this off anymore? Let's find out if this thing really works or not. So this is a hair styling item, a hairband replacement, like a very, very sophisticated, the bougiest of all hairbands. Um, and it is called the Pony O. And my mom confessed to me she bought this through Instagram ads. Is anybody else out there a sucker for Instagram ads? I feel like every other day my mom is like sending me a picture of something that sounds really weird. Like two days ago she asked me if I needed a butterfly butt pillow. It's like a butterfly, it looks like a butterfly to me. It's a pillow, a special pillow for your ass. I don't know what it does. Burrito blanket that looks like a realistic burrito. This company seems pretty legit. I did visit their Instagram page and they seem to have a lot of really cute tutorials, styling suggestions for this product. There are a lot of different ways that you can wear it. I suppose we're about to find out. And they show it modeled on people with all different hair types. I think my mom said that she got this original kit for around $20. This is the packaging. It's like a little baglet. Inside you get a small instructional pamphlet. I can't get it out of the bag. Ah! One of those days. I did already take a sneaky peeky, but this is kind of what led me to looking further on their Instagram page for styling tutorials and instructions to begin with because I'm like looking at these graphs and I'm reading these words and I swear, I swear to God, it's like my mind is trying to process and understand the information that they're attempting to deliver to me. Dig a hole, dig a hole. I've never seen a styling implement uh, that says dig a hole. And then you get the two pony O's. So I'm not sure what color technically my mom ordered. I'm gonna describe this as khaki. This is almost like one of those elop optical illusions. <laughs> optical illusion. Optical? Optical illusions. No, okay, I guess it's pretty, pretty damn clear which one is thinner and which one is thicker. So you get two sizes, thinner and thicker. I saw this question asked quite often, which this is kind of important to me, I guess. I saw a lot of people ask if you could put it around your wrist. And I guess, theoretically, the answer is yes. There's metal in here, you guys. I don't know if y'all can see. It's like it bends. It doesn't stretch. It, it bends. Ooh, it's like a box. Cube band. So what is inside of it is a piece of copper that is like the total length of the Pony O. For, uh, you know, like half up, half down dues, they were using this thinner band. Or I guess if maybe you have thinner hair, you could just do your whole styling with the thinner band. And then they were using the thicker band for like, you know, bigger, thicker hair or styling all of your hair at once. So uh, the current condition of my hair is freshly washed. I just washed it today, which I guess could make a little bit of a difference when I test this product out. My clean hair just doesn't cooperate much. So this is the kind of elastic I'm using right now. I think they're just like goody ouchless elastics. So yeah, even though my hair is freshly washed, I did add I'm not sure if you guys are gonna be able to see, but I added these like teeny tiny little micro crimps at the root of my hair for extra volume. I'm sure this is not that neat. I do not have a mirror here with me in this room. Hopefully I'm gonna be able to get it right on the first try. They say you're supposed to like put your thumb and your pointer finger into it. And then that's how you thread your hair through. Can you guys see what's going on? Now they do say it's like really important that you hold the pony O at the base 
of your head because you want to pinch it down like close to your scalp. Once you do this, you're supposed to pinch it flat like that. Now see, that is kind of what alarms me about this product is I'm like, is it gonna rip my hair out? <laughs> Wait, that looks kind of silly. Is it gonna rip my hair out? Because it has these little nubs <laughs> inside, let's say, and it is like a silicone kind of rubbery material. I have tested some of those like rubberized hair bands before. They are also supposed to be ouchless, but au contraire, I disagree. The next step is you're supposed to bend back one side at a time and hopefully you guys can see, and you make kind of like a horseshoe shape, they say. Now, as I just bent that, it feels, it feels like it's gonna be sassier. Oh, but see when I just tried to like pull it to fan it out or make it like higher on my head, it did unbend it completely. See, I feel like I folded mine in and I didn't do a horseshoe shape, but if I do it like that, it feels like really loose. Ugh, I don't, I don't really care for that. So let's bend it flat and see about that. That does look better. Okay, let's see, will it pass the sassy, 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 so sassy, sassy, sassy. Okay, did it pass the initial sass test? What does it look like? Pre-sass, post-sass. See, it's like a little slippy. Cause like normally when I do half up, half down, like I want it to be more like that, you know? Like I want to be very like 1980s Barbie. So yeah, that was just like an initial test of the little one. Let me try and fully unbend it and I will pull it out. And oh, we just have like one itty bitty little piece of hair breakage. Can you guys even see that? Probably not because it is a blonde strand. So I'll just hold it out this far. <laughs> this far is a piece of my hair that just broke off. I feel like my hair is very thick right now with the addition of the micro crimps because that is the micro crimper's purpose is to make your hair more voluminous. I don't feel like my form was as good this time. So now let me clamp it flat. It's like pushed up against my scalp. That actually looks kind of cute. It just feels like loose. Do you know what I mean? I feel like it looks like right on the top of my head, but do you guys see this like, it's like when your ponytail like starts to slip just a little bit throughout the day, if that makes sense. Like I feel like when I'm positioning it on my head, it's like as tight to my skull as I can possibly press it down. But then it like just it somehow in the, in the clamping process, it gets a little bit looser. But let's go ahead and do the horseshoe method. And that was another thing, like I definitely think I'm gonna give the smaller one to my mom because I saw some examples on Instagram that looked really impressive to me where people had thinner hair, but they were able to do this kind of horseshoe shape and it really made their ponytail look much more voluminous. So that is actually like much more impressive looking to me. I like the style. This is kind of hella cute. And now I'm gonna do the sassy dance and then we're gonna check for sassy slippage. So sassy, 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 so sassy, sassy, sassy. Was there sassy slippage or does it look about the same? It feels kind of the same. See, I'm always, like I'd have to train my brain to not do that because anytime you like pull it to try and adjust it or get it higher on your head, you undo the horseshoe shape. So give me a second, I'm gonna refresh my brain with a couple of these other techniques on their Instagram page and then maybe we'll test out some other stuff. Over the last like 20 minutes, I've been sitting here kind of walking around the house with it in my head and it honestly has not slipped at all. I don't want to like say I'm not impressed because I kind of am because you know like with my hair being so long it is very heavy so I feel like a lot of times if I start off with a high ponytail it sort of slips back like quicker than I would like for it to. The one thing that I find myself like constantly doing is pulling it and then I have to like bend it back again because if you pull it out like that it slips. Now they do have like different versions of this now. I guess one is a Pony O 2.0. It looks the same as the thick version to me. So I don't know what the difference is. And then they have a specific, oh wow, 
no lost hair that time. And they have like a specific pony o bun making tool and it looks kind of a lot like a slap bracelet to me like it's kind of the same thickness as this item but it's longer and it comes apart like a like this like a hamburger bun is what i was about to say so i don't think we can do like a proper wrap around bun but we can try like one of my favorite kind of hairstyles which i refer to lovingly as like do i call it a mermaid shell or a shell of some sort anyway you guys will see it and maybe y'all will remember me talking about this hairstyle i also think i'm like crapping out a little bit on my form you're not supposed to shove your whole hand in it you're supposed to just go like that so let me see see this is a little bit harder for me to maneuver and so i think what they did is just pulled all the hair through like that and then left like a long tail out and then clamped it flat oh that's gonna be way too much oh my god you guys I'm just gonna have to play the tutorial in here so y'all can see what I'm doing. Oh yeah, see, it's like my hair is too thick to get a proper bend here. I'm gonna try and like reposition. Oh my God, I hope you guys can see what's going on here. I had all my hair like to one side and it was too thick to get the proper bend. So now I'm trying to like fillet the tail, spread it out so I can do the proper bend. Can you see anything that's going on? Oh my God, this looks like a freaking nightmare. This is not what it looked like on the girl. <laughs> and then she like spread it out like that. See, I swear in the videos, they show them spreading out the hair. But when I do it, it unbends the curve. Why? What am I doing wrong? Um, oh my God. For some reason, I have this super long chunk here. And then like this part is actually like not that bad, but they were able to like spread it out. Why can't mine spread? See, that is not a good hold. That's not a good hold. I didn't think I, I don't think I bended properly. I've got too much hair. Oh my God, you guys. Like, I feel like I'm shaking my last brain cell loose. I need to stop shaking my head. I don't know if I had like a, a good seal on that or not. Do you ever do something and then instantly regret that you've done it? I wish I hadn't shook my head around like that. I feel like I have a headache now. I've had like a nonstop headache all week. I think it's like an anxiety headache. So why did I just shake my head around? Now I've just elevated my anxiety about that. They do say you're supposed to go like this and straighten the pony o out after every use like you're not supposed to let it sit bent like that they say that it ultimately damages the copper band inside and doesn't give it and doesn't and doesn't give a you as long of a lifespan as this thing and i'm gonna look it up or you know what i'm just gonna insert the fact in here i don't know why i thought that they said like 500 uses you could get out of this which is obviously way more than you can get out of a traditional um rubber brand rubber band these obviously like crap out way before 500 uses your hair does have to be like perfectly balanced because if if you have too much volume on one side or the other like you can't really bend it Oh my god, I can't bend it. I can't bend it. I can't bend it, mom. Um, okay, let's see. I think I've got it bent now. All right, so, ooh, that looks great. Now, I have like a little bit of like pulling on this side. I can't figure out where, ugh. It's like where you have a bobby pin in your head and it's like just a little bit uncomfortable. So I just loosened it up and I'm gonna try and reclamp it. Okay, there we go. I really like I did it again. It's it's compulsive. I can't stop. Will it still be this sassy 40 minutes from now? Stay tuned and find out. Does this thing really work? Final answer. I would have to say yes. I just did a full face of makeup as hopefully you can tell and we will do a side-by-side -side comparison but I don't think that it has slipped or fallen at all it's actually so comfortable that I forgot that it was there I was thinking with like the rubberizedness and the fact that it's stuffed full of copper that maybe it would be heavier and it would give me a headache or something but it doesn't and like I said I don't think it's like slipped at all they have a ton of other colors on the website including camo and leopard like two of my favorite colors so I am kind of tempted to get more of these things I think that they would make a cuter style to wear if I was 
going out, actually leaving the house, or if I was like filming a video and I wanted like a cuter style. I don't know if I would gravitate towards this item as naturally as I gravitate towards this one, but I'm pretty impressed. Oh my god, I know what I forgot to test last. Even though I'm not sure I have the correct size for this because some of the other tutorials seemed like they were using a band that was this smaller thickness but also smaller in size, like about that length, to do pigtails and I don't know what you would call like I'm not sure if those are called like pigtails, but you know, like the two like almost top bun pigtail. I'll try and insert a photo, but they looked like they were using that size maybe to secure the end of like a braid or a ponytail or to do kind of like those cuter like pigtail updos. So I thought I would just see if I could effectively clamp the end of my hair using this smaller pony o and i'm just gonna stop there because my hair does get just really thin at the end so we'll see if i'm able to clamp it around tight enough for this really bottom area i'm pinching it down as tight as i can i know this is the most attractive braid of all time and i guess you would just fold it over i mean that is like the experience that I'm having. It does seem like it honestly holds. Like certainly it has to be a different size because like who would ever use that? I look like I have a giant cinnamon roll <laughs> hanging off of the end of my hair. So that definitely does add a lot more weight to my hair unless you have like much much thicker hair than I do which I mean could be and then I don't I don't know uh, but I would not use this to secure the end of a braid just me. If you guys have tested this out and if you've had like success or failure, I would love to hear what you guys think in the comments down below. And now I'm gonna be able to tell my mom tomorrow that yes, I tried it and it does really work. And I think it's a good item, but let me know what you guys think. Do you think that like around $20 for some ponytail holders is like too expensive or you think like because they seem so functional and non-slip and also more durable than traditional hair bands, do you think that it's worth it? I would love to know. Anyway, you guys, thank y'all so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. And if you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family, and give an alligator its wings. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see y'all again very, very soon. Bye.